So you have the right to say anything you want to on the air. God bless the First Amendment. Ah, yeah, but free speech does have its limits. I mean, you can't yell, fire in a crowded theater. You know, uh, every time there's a free speech case in the Supreme Court or an issue in the media, people uh, resort immediately to these catchphrases. So when you bring up the First Amendment, uh, element here. There are limits that are placed on, on speech, certain things you cannot say in crowded places. Well, of course not all speech is protected, but saying that doesn't tell you anything. That's like if I shot somebody and the police came and I said, well, there's some circumstances under which I'm allowed to shoot people. That's not really responsive. It doesn't go to the issue of, well, how about this time? There is the First Amendment exception about shouting fire in a crowded theater. Were any of these people in physical proximity to Ms. Sands or the victim? No. Then the theater wasn't crowded. The classic Holmes quote about shouting fire in a crowded theater. I hate it so much because when people cite that, they are citing one of the low points in American liberty and American free speech history. They're citing a case where Holmes agreed that the government could jail somebody for advocating against the draft. Too many people who quote him just use it as a throwaway line to justify without analyzing, without thinking about censorship. And that, of course, is ridiculous. It's just uh, avoiding the question, not actually addressing the question. And make no mistake, this country is ablaze.